Hi everyone. Today we're going to see how you can automate your invoice creation with the Page Designer app in Stackby. Now let's first look at the database structure on how we are going to create these tables and then design invoices right from these records. Let's jump right in. So first table that we have is an invoices table. Now in the invoices table there are basic information about the invoices. There is the invoice ID there is a company that it's linked to so there are all the companies here right the billing contact of that company and the billing email there is also a contacts table which is essentially nothing but all the contacts from the different companies that you are associated with now think of it as like a basic crm uh, you know into this table which is linked to the company's table so you are essentially managing all your contacts separately and your company separately in these two tables now in the invoices table you will also see when was the invoice created when was the when is the invoice due and when is the uh, you know invoice paid right and it is linked to the line items table so in the line items table uh, basically there are all the different line items which are linked to the services now the services is nothing but all the services or the products that you that you have right so say service 1 service 2 service 3 and service 4 the amount per service and the line items that it's it's particularly linked to so in the line items all you need to do is basically select a particular service select an invoice automatically a cost will come up add the quantity and it will create like an invoice subtotal and this invoice subtotal is then brought into the invoices table as an invoice subtotal you add the tax and you create the final final invoice total which is nothing but a formula where invoice total into tax plus the invoice total so it will automatically create like the final total now based on this information right there is an invoice id there is the billing contact the company the logos all the dates line items associated uh, which with each of these invoices the invoice subtotal tax and the final total right so we'll jump right in to create to create these invoices so we'll quickly go to the apps marketplace add an app in this case page designer i want to bring invoices table of course the size will be Let's just say A4 and done. Now I'll start editing, you know, this layout. So basically, what this this would do is first you need to bring you need to bring a text that you you're creating an invoice. I can change the font, change the font size, right, and that's it. then you're going to bring the invoice id now the invoice id is 1001 in this case again add the font size right so in this case i've used the meriwether so we'll use that invoice id right now I'm going to bring the billing email. So just add the billing email. Just add the billing email like this. So in this case what I'm going to do is instead of adding the billing email directly, I'm going to use a static element text and add the billing email. So in this case will be So let's see what is the okay So it automatically pulls in like this Now I'm going to add all the uh, you know basically the logo right In this case, I just want to bring the tag by logo here. Just 
change the layout in a way where it's more accessible right? give more spacing to the logo and then I'm going to add some of the dates that I have right so what is the date due date paid and date created right so I'm going to bring all of this information and you also want to bring of course the company you know information as well right so the first thing that you're going to do is add the company details so in this case I'm going to add company is company right like this and the billing email of that company then I'm going to add all of the dates so I'm going to just create one static element for all the dates so in this case I want to add the invoice created date and the invoice due date right so invoice created and invoice due now the invoice created would be the created field date created so just add date created and date due right so it automatically pulls in the right dates right so i can just change the font right add the size like this so created the invoice very basic all of the information the company details the billing emails you can add the address uh, you know fields like this right from your tables and all the date uh, fields that you have you can give some extra spacing to this right and make it a little more easily accessible now I want to uh, basically pull in the line items details of this particular invoice now this is the interesting part right because here you're going to pull in the linked record right line items is a separate table which is linked to the invoices table and you want to bring all the line item details so the link column type is fantastic you know in the page designer so just add the line items you pull in the line items like this so the, it automatically creates a table the first board which a default is a table board now here there is a line item id and you also want to bring say the cost quantity and total so once you select them it automatically pulls in the line item details right like this so i'll just pull in the details like this of this particular invoice add a border to this in the bottom right and that's about it and i want to particularly bring two more information right one is the invoice total which is of course the invoice subtotal that we see so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add invoice subtotal right so it will automatically pull in like this now i want to bring the tax information so let's just add tax as well add text so in this case i'm going to bring the tax the static element tax and add the tax percentage which will automatically come at the bot bottom bottom reduce the width right so there's an invoice subtotal of 13,000 right there is a tax of 6% and it will give me the final total so I'm just gonna pull in the final total like this And just increase the the weight and the size 
right? So this is how you can quickly create your invoice. Now all of this information is directly coming from your tables, right? So all of the information that you see here, right? It's being, it's automatically come from the table. You basically click on preview and you will see that for all the records, all of this information is already added. And of course you can add your own terms and service. So just add your text here and add your terms and conditions. And here I've already copied some of the information. So let me just remove it from here. I'm going to create one more text element. Okay. creates like this. I'm going to create, increase the font size to 18 and, and that's it. You can add all as many terms and conditions as possible. It's, it's super easy to create this invoice, bring all of the information right in real time. And you can see it for all the records that you have, right? All the invoices are automatically generated from your tables. All you need to do is just save this layout, done editing, click on print and just print it into an A4 size in a portrait mode. You click on print and you can also save it as a PDF or export this particular invoice as a PDF. Save it in your computer or send it to someone, right? In your, uh, you know, to your stakeholders. So this is how you can quickly create your own, uh, you know, custom invoice, you know, according to your brand and, you know, scale this, right? You just have to design once and you don't have to worry about, you know, creating invoices on Google Docs or on Excel sheets. You basically just create like a quick database structure in Stackby, you know, be a little more smart about it and, you know, bring all the relevant information into the pages. So I've created like a better looking invoice, which I'll quickly show you. And I'll just preview it. So this is how you know the invoices you know will look. So create your invoices and automate it in bulk. Let us know what you think. And we're super super excited about this feature. So do give us give us your feedback. So we'll constantly keep improving the page designer app. Uh, at the same time, you know, show you all the different sorts of use cases of the page designer. Invoice creation is one of the biggest, the top most, you know, use case. A lot of organizations, small and big, can potentially use this to automate their invoices at scale. So the free template of the invoice creator is in the description. So just copy it in your workspace and start creating your invoice in seconds. Cheers. Bye.